Hello everyone, welcome back to another weekly video. So today I just wanted to talk to you about something that I found on Facebook. You know, every now and then you come across this saying or quote that kind of sparks something in your mind, right? So that is exactly what happened. So let me just read the thing I, that sparked my mind thingy. Never forget that people will turn you into whatever they need you to be so that their internal narrative can make sense. Ego is a crafty deceiver. Let me read that first part again. Never forget that people will turn you into whatever they need you to be so that their internal narrative can make sense. Now just think about that for a second with me. That means that you may have the best intentions, right? You can come at someone with what is to you great advice or something positive, something helpful. But if that other person has decided that they are going to get offended at it, then all your great efforts, all your great advice and all your positive vibes that you started with, all your great intentions, go out the window because to them you are now the bad guy. So no matter what your intentions were, no matter how nice you were trying to be, to them you will now and from now forward will be the person who did something to them. You are now the bad guy, you are now the villain to their story. And there is something incredibly fucked up about that to me. And I know I shouldn't care about it, right? Because you cannot change someone else's mind. But here's the thing. If you need to be with those people for a longer period of time, it sucks. It sucks when you keep running back into that same bullshit. Because here's the thing. If person A has decided that I was at one point a villain to their life story, and they said, no, you know what, I'm over it, I've gotten past it, we're friends again, we're good. And every now and then, when that person is in a mood, or like, when the mood strikes that person, they can revert to that same old bullshit. They can revert to that whole, you did me wrong that one day, so, so now I can't trust you. So now you will forever be bad in my book. So now I, you know, and all that. And... You, as a nice person, were only trying to do the right thing, but you can never explain that to them. You can never make that clear. You can never reset that. Because in that very moment, they made that decision that they were going to paint you as the villain. And that's just not going to change. And that is such a weird thing to realize. But it's also such an important thing to realize because you can see patterns in people when you realize that. See, sometimes it may seem that someone is past something, but when something small happens, they might actually revert back to those old blame game moments. Like if you were once emotional with someone, it can go well for months. You cannot have a problem for months. But at some point, they might use it against you. They might say, well, you were emotional, emotional that one time. So now I don't know how to talk to you. And use that as an excuse to not communicate. Or they might say, well, you did that to me one time, so now I can't trust you. When you've had months or years of just good vibes in between that. But when you see that coming back, and you can lead it back to the moment where it happened, at least you get it. At least you get that to that person in their mind you will always be reduced to these one or two qualities that they decided match with you and those are usually not the positive ones and you may not agree with them you may not even recognize them but they made them to fit you and there is not a damn thing you can do about it. And that sucks. 
I mean, it does, right? Well, there is one thing you can do about it. You can decide to no longer let those people be part of your life. And that is a harsh reality. But in some cases, it is the only reality that is acceptable. Because if someone has one or two negative attributes that, that, that they gave you without your permission, that's okay. But some people, they like accumulate them. It's like, it's like they have this entire backpack of negative bullshit that they made up without you. And whenever you make a mistake in their eyes, they are going to throw them in your face. And these are the people that no matter what the background was, no matter how much fun you've had, no matter how nice y'all were to each other, even if you've been friends for 20 years, when that happens and it keeps happening, that is the moment you need to step away. Because it just doesn't make sense to be in a relationship like that. And again, it doesn't have to be like a romantic relationship. It can be a work relationship, a friendship, whatever. But if people keep throwing their negative attributions that they connected to you in your face over and over again without you agreeing to that, without you even deserving that, that is when you gotta say, no, thank you. You are near them. But it's weird, isn't it? It's weird that for most people, they don't even realize that they do this. Like, I do it just as much as anyone. Like, because we're all human, we all have this ego thing. And we all, we all just, I, I have ideas about people that I have trouble shifting. But the thing is, I do realize that there is another side to it. I do realize that I have these ideas. So, I can... Keep an, if I choose, if I want to, I can keep an open mind and give the person another chance to prove me wrong. Or I can go back to the moment where I don't start it and say, hey, you know what? Maybe there were two sides to that. So let me, let me revisit that. But if I do that and the other person doesn't, now that's a whole new situation. Let me picture that way. Let's say you and I have an argument. And I say some things that hurt your feelings, you say some things that hurt my feelings. So you are now the villain in my story, and I am the villain in your story. And that is why we leave it. And at some point, we like kind of get past it, and we don't really talk about it, and we get along well. But something happens that brings us right back there, right? Where you are my villain, I am your villain. Now, that's a problem, right? But if I then choose to say, Hey, listen, that first time we both said, said some things that were unkind and I just want to apologize for the things I said to you. Like, I know I was unkind, I know I was wrong, I want to take responsibility for that. I was mean, so I'm sorry about that. I shouldn't have done that, I am sorry. So basically what I'm now saying is I will take the blame for my part. If you do the same thing, we're good. But if you don't have the insight of being able to take that perspective, of being able to take that step back, that had a culture view, of being able to take responsibility for your part, we now have a problem. Because this is what's going to happen in your mind then. It's going to say, great, you were wrong. I knew you were wrong. You just told me you were wrong. So not only am I now the villain in your story, I have just told you that I was the villain in your story. I have just told you that you were right. So now your entire picture of me is not only is she the villain, she actually knows it. So from now on, I got a, I got a clean slate on telling her you're the villain, and you told me so. And there's nothing I can do to change it because it's fucking true. And that's a problem. And see when shit like that happens. That is when you need to back up real quick. That is when someone 
is not even just in my rear view mirror, they are at the back waving. Because that is the type of bullshit that I do not need in my life. Because if I take responsibility for my side and you cannot take responsibility for your side, we now have a relationship issue that is no longer this, it is this. And that is not okay. I don't want to be that person in someone else's life simply because I don't deserve it. That's the funny thing about taking responsibility, right? Like, I, I find it so important that I take responsibility for my mistakes, for my fuck-ups, for even sometimes someone else's feelings, I'll take responsibility for it. And that is not okay, because I'm not responsible for someone else's feelings, I'm responsible for what I did and said, but not for what someone else is feeling, but that's, that's a whole different story. But, like, I'm big on that, I'm big on that whole responsibility thing. But when someone else is not, when it's someone else's personality to want to be the victim, to make me the villain, now I've created a problem for myself. And I can't even do anything about it, apart from breaking off that relationship. And that's the awesome thing, because the second I do that, the second I say, hey, listen, this whole thing that's going on, I can't do that anymore, I am out, this relationship is done. At that point, they're not going to understand it. So they are going to get mad at me. Because once again, I've done something that they don't like. So once again, I'm the goddamn villain. And once again, there's nothing I can do about it. And at that point, it should be okay, because I've chosen to no longer have them in my life. Right? Hold on. I'm gonna sneeze in a minute. Just don't don't get scared. If I do that, it's gonna be loud. You'll deal. Um, but here's the thing. Just because I am okay with them no longer being in my life, doesn't mean that it is not painful for me to realize that in someone's mind, in the mind of someone I once genuinely cared about. I am now nothing but a villain. I am reduced to that. And the only thing I did, as far as I see myself, was to try to do something right and protect myself. And it's a learning process to kind of deal with those feelings and emotions and shit like that. But it's not easy. Like when you're an empath, when you're an empath, it is hard to know that there are people out there who would think of you like that, right? Because you feel that shit. But it is important that you do it anyway because it is so much better for your mental well-being to have that person hate you from a distance than to have that hate in your proximity the entire time and to be confronted with it and to not be able to change it. So at that point, you just got to change your position to that person, and that means that there's going to be a lot of distance. That's, that's basically where I got in my little mind thing today, but I thought it was interesting. And well, as you notice, it, 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 it sparked a lot of mental chatter, and you know, I, I, just, I just like to share that with you guys. So that's it for today. It's... Uh, not even that. Hey, I didn't sneeze. I just realized. I, I told you I was going to sneeze, but I didn't. Good. That means y'all didn't get scared. Maybe next time. Who knows? Anyway, that's uh, just something I wanted to share with y'all today. And let's see what I come up with next time. Oh, I told you I was going to do some old videos in between, right? I haven't done that yet. Probably will do it at some point. So if in the near future, you're going to see me with long hair. That's because it's going to be an old video. But you'll notice when you notice. For now, we have this video and, uh, well, some stuff to think about. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.